Hey guys, it's Amir here with a follow-up video on my Airbnb series. This one is more about missing the date I set for myself to be ready, which didn't happen. That was last week. Um, I wanted to be ready for Labor Day weekend. There was a lot of items I had on order that didn't come in yet, and I just couldn't do it in time. So today is September 7th, a few days after Labor Day weekend, and as I was hoping to be ready for this coming weekend now, I ran into some new problems. And that's going to be the main focus of this video, it's like, it's a few setbacks that I had. So the first thing, I'm going to do the usual walkthrough to show what's been done. Here are the kitchen counter, it's already been replaced. With the backsplash so it's a new counter and new backsplash so i didn't carry it over the backsplash here because it was getting too costly and i figure um, i'll just do something else here um, i'll make it like a coffee and tea station and maybe also put other appliances with it so this mirror is new i picked this up from home goods i believe this is the area rug i'm gonna use in the living room i ordered another area rug very close to this in design but slightly smaller which should have been for the dining table and this is what they sent me so now i need to wait for the replacement but the main setback that i have right now and this is something i discovered today because i haven't been here for a couple of days and it's pouring outside so i just had the roof replaced if you can recall from the previous video that was one of the big projects i had to wait to be completed and there is a leak up there but i'll get to that in a little bit this is the living room area, not much has changed. Those two chairs I believe I showed in the last video, if not, this is almost the living room, but the coffee table and the side table here, they're just placeholders until I settle on something better. But for now they're functional, so I'll leave them. And it gives me a better idea on, on how much space I have as well, keeping it there. So that's about it for down here right now. There's a lot I plan on doing today because it is still early in the day. And I'm spending the next two days here trying to finish everything and be ready for this weekend. There's nothing really there's nothing really new up here. Just a lot of organizing that needs to be done. So not much has changed here. A few decor items like the artwork on the wall. Um, those two, the blue and the yellow, they were just blank canvases and um, and I got paint from Dollar Tree and just painted that quickly so so I didn't have to spend extra money on artwork maybe later on if I find something I like better than this I'll get it but for now it works that's almost it for this room I just need another lamp for this side or I need to get two completely new ones because I'm not finding another one that matches here so that might be an issue but but for now I can I can work with one Second bedroom, again, minor changes, but it's this one is completed. I think this is the only change I did. I just hung those up and, oh, and I, I installed the TVs as well. So now both bedrooms have TVs. This room being so small, the TV is like right behind the door. So I'm going to have to install a door stop to keep it from hitting, but that should take care of it. So I installed TVs here as well. Right now both bedrooms have TV. I don't have one in the living room yet. I just need to pick one up from... I either need to order one on Amazon or maybe Best Buy. Anyway, so let's go out here. Because this is the main setback that I have right now. And it's this leak that's coming in here. It's coming from the skylight. I'm not sure if, it's, if I'm going to be able to pick it up well. But it caused some damages right here. it's leaking straight down there so I had this roof the, I had the entire roof replaced about two weeks ago and unfortunately there was no rain until this week so there was no way to know that this was leaking and I came here today only to discover this and I can't really have a reservation while this is happening so I'm hoping that the roofing guy could come back and fix it before the end of the week but as a but as of right now it all depends on whether or not he can make it and this is something i'm just gonna have to wait on because 
I don't really have any much any more choice and hopefully it's not too much work for them to fix it or are too time consuming because um, I'm losing another week here there is still a lot of work for me to do as well but I'm gonna be able to finish up everything in the next day or two and at that point I'm just gonna have to wait for this leak to be fixed and then I'm ready to go anyway that's it for this video because it, it wasn't meant to be a long one I wish I had a better follow-up with more progress because that was the goal but I thought it was important to show how things can go wrong resulting in a delay or even more expense Something you can't really do anything to prepare for it. it. That's why it's always good to have a little bit of extra budget set aside just in case something like this happens. Even though I'm not going to have to pay to fix the leak, I'm still losing out on potential two weeks worth of rent. Even if it's just two weekends, it's still I'm missing out on that return on my investment here. So that's not good. But I'm going to leave this off here and I'm going to continue updating my progress in the next video. Hopefully that's in a few days.